Just before 10 o'clock at night on July 9th, 2022, officers from the Oshkosh Police Department and Winnebago County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene of a mass casualty event involving a ferry boat crash on Fox River in Wisconsin. Upon arrival, officers quickly learned that the boat that caused the crash ran from the scene. So there's still another boat they're looking for. That's not, is it? Well, they better find it. <laughs> Through investigative work, officers work quickly to identify and hopefully capture the operator of the striking boat. They go towards the boat that was supposedly struck, a large vessel called On the Loose Cruise, known for hosting large groups and events on the water, typically for a night out drinking. Where is the injured one? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, I got boat glass in my head. I don't see any blood or anything. No, no blood. With the fire department coming, okay? Just letting you know we have at least five or six saying that they're injured right now. So, just good information for all of you. Copy, we have two ambulances going to the doctor. Did you see the other boat at all? Okay. I have pictures. Because it had a bunch of motors, like four motors on the back of it. Did it park or go? No, I, no, I think it kept going. I thought it parked on the right side over there. Okay. I think it was the one that had. You know, more motors. You know if there's an uh, ambulance coming? Yeah. Yes, yep, 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 we have people, we have them coming. They get the boat that hit us. We're still looking for it. Do you know which way it went? It went no, down they said that they got them. They left because they were so good. Where was this at then? Uh, we have to be right going over here. Hey, did you guys have a boat go past you that way? Yeah, there was like three other boats that followed. They tried to get him to stop here, and he just kept telling everybody to shut up and shut up that way. I got a picture, but I can't see the numbers on it. Thinking he's going to pass us. Okay. And then he for some reason, he swung hey, back like in, right, right towards us. Sure. I think he finally saw me at the last minute and swerved off, and then sideswipes it. Sideswipes it. I have the Main Street bridge tender who called. He said he can help with videos or photos. Unknown to officers at the time, the crash was caught on video. We will be going over that footage momentarily. My concern was get this to shore in case it sinks. Get my passengers off. I had no flew where he went. Now they came close to me and I said, hey, can you guys come over here? I just want to talk to you. No, we're just floating down the river. I don't, so please just come talk to me. They said, no, we're floating. And they okay. went through and that's the last I seen. Okay. And that's when I saw a big boat, four engines on the back. Also with the description for the striking boat, had four motors in the back. The witnesses said that the boat was sinking. There was a boat that was sinking. I don't know if their boat was sinking because I couldn't see it. I didn't right. have time. I wasn't even concerned about them as much as my passengers. Right now, I think I kind of got what I need from you. It sounds like officers are out with the other boat, too. I hope so. And I hope it's so, them, you know, right. Because I hope they're not sunk. I hope right. they got it. Okay. Unfortunately, this officer was misinformed. The striking four motor boat that everyone seems to be looking for is nowhere to be found. Just for info for everyone out there, we do not have the striking boat at this point. We do not have the striking boat. So if you see that description, please call out with it. Just some further info. They said it had like four engines on the back, so it was a power boat. Do we have some officers checking the area for the boat? No, we don't. Then we don't know where the other striking boat went. If it's even above water. Even Pretty if it's well above water, right. Extra... 41 to 452. Just let so you know, you have two ambulances down there right now. And just want to confirm, you need one more? Yep, just the one more, and then the rest is staged. There's one ambulance. I don't know if you have any left. Her hand is hurt. Her hand Okay, we're gonna. It sounds like we're gonna have more ambulances okay. coming down. I mean, you can't miss it. It's the biggest boat on the <laughs> Yeah, apparently it's 39 people. Do we just want to line everybody up, make sure we got 39 people. Yep. You're on the cruise. Let's count you out, okay? You want to start counting, please, so I can write the rest of these down. One, two. Yeah, there's a huge party that left. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's fine. We have the manifest. Out. One, two, count how many three, four. Left. While these officers begin counting all the passengers they can find. Officers on the road come in contact with a soon-to-be person of interest. Hey, excuse me? Hey, are you guys walking down that way? Yeah. My dad's over there. Is, was he on the boat? Yeah. Okay. I just want to go see if he's... Okay. Sure. Just one second for us, guys, okay? Because we have a lot of people down there right now. Nobody is, like, really hurt, okay? It's just, like, a little bumped up a little bit. We'll figure that out for you. What's, what's yeah. his name? Jason Lindemann. They're not even that far away. Was Jason on the pontoon boat? No. no. Which boat was he on? He was on... He's on the big party boat, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you try to call him at all? Yeah, he answered. He told me he got in a boat accident. Okay. Okay. There's just a lot going on, so just give us a minute. Are oh, you guys on the boat? Yeah. Okay. 19, 20, 21. Officers elsewhere spoke to uninvolved boaters for additional information. I didn't see it. I just heard he it on the DHL. From what we thought, he didn't have any nav Yeah, he got no lights on. I said, Chase, you got to stay here. Dude, you got people hurt. You're just going to okay. wreck more because I know who you are. 
Okay, do you, do you know what the uh, number on his boat is? I have no uh, idea. Four mortars on the back. Okay, uh, did you uh, see the collision? Yes. The boat came full bore. I mean, not even, didn't even slow down. Just hit us full bore. Boom! Detectives for this case did obtain footage of the crash itself later on, which clearly captures the crash. In the court trial that we will be covering later, GPS data determined the striking boat operator was traveling 46 miles an hour, or 40 knots when he struck on the loose cruise. In the eventual criminal complaint surrounding the situation, one witness shared that the striking boat initially returned back to the struck cruiser after approximately 15 minutes. Occupants of the cruiser heard people yell at the speedboat, You hit me, you need to stop, you need to come over here. Witnesses allegedly heard a slurred voice respond back from the striking boat, I didn't see you, and shut up, we need to run to the marina and drop someone off. The complaint details that one of the speedboat's own passengers was heavily injured and bleeding from their head as a result. After the operator dropped them and other passengers off, the bleeding victim walked approximately 15 minutes to their car, then drove to the emergency room, where they were treated for a bruised back, bruised ribs, and a gash above their eye. The complaint goes on to support this witness's claim that, after the striking boat dropped off most of their passengers, they shut their lights off and fled down Fox River into the vastness of Lake Winnebago, while other civilian boaters pursued them. Dead that we're aware of? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Were you on the boat? Yes. Okay. Three. Do all these ambulances have people in them? No, we're the first. We're the only person that took somebody so far. All right, sounds so good. The rest are available. Count at 34. Hi. What's your number? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you guys are on the boat, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. We're just missing six. Wouldn't that make sense? There's a group that left. Yep. Hey, are you looking for somebody? Yeah. Okay. Girlfriend. Okay. Well, we got. I know. Just wait one second for me, okay? Because that's her business. We live together. That is my girlfriend's business. That's her boat. The big, the big boat? Yeah. Yes, and okay. She's calling me. I'm like, how do I get to you? Okay. So everyone's fine right now. No one's like completely in, really badly injured. So um, just stay calm. We'll try and get you reunified here in a second, okay? There's just a lot of people down there, obviously. So we're just trying she's to. She's like, I just want you by me. Okay. Her, so you yeah, can absolutely. Talk. No, you can talk to her. It's fine. No, so you can let me go this way? No, time? no, you're going to stay here, sir. I'm sorry. We can't let you down. We have a lot of people down there, so. What's that? Sir, I can't let you go down there. I'm not going down. I just want I don't know where my girlfriend is. Oh, she, okay, everyone's fine. Okay. I I know, sir, but we got to stay up here for now, okay? okay? Sorry, I'm not trying to give you Yeah, we're going to, you know, pretty soon here, we'll be able to get you down there, okay? I'll guarantee you he's probably over Stockbridge right now. Oh my God. He's got a house over there? No, but he's probably hiding out there. Yeah, probably. Okay. Are you friends with this guy? Yeah, I'm friends with the guy. Okay. Well, we're acquaintances. Do you have his phone number? Uh, no. No? Yeah. Okay. So, we're just Facebook friends. I know him. Do you know any place over there that he might go? Like, specifically? Okay. Well, if, if you don't, if you're just guessing at that point, I'm not going to go with that. We're not, we're not sure. There was a boat that was on the river. So there's one boat that yeah. hit that hit this one. Yes. Oh, okay. There's one boat that hit the big one. And it wasn't my dad. They're, they're not allowing me down there. How do you do that? How do you do that? Well, yeah. Oh, right. You are very familiar with that boat. You are sure it is a boat. Well, yeah, definitely. Their father's boat. 435 to 235. I'm looking at it. Well, it looks like that was my dad's boat. Wait, so hold on. You see your dad's oh. boat struck this boat? No, I don't, my dad has the four engine boat. Where is your dad? Uh, obviously over No, he's there. not. The other is the striking boat's not here. So where, where is he at? We need to figure out where he's at. What boat is that? You guys that's the big boat. That's the big That's the big cruise boat. Okay. I'm actually talking to the daughter of the father. So do you know where he is? No. So we're trying to find so I, All I know is I'm trying to find my dad. That's literally okay. it. And right. so you guys are asking me 10,000 Question. Your dad's boat isn't down there. I don't know. I can't see what's okay, so down there. So give me a second. Come over here and listen. Come over here. Daddy, I'm gonna call. Just, yeah. stay, just stay over here. Yeah. So your dad has the four engine boat, right? Yeah. This is this is a big cruise boat that goes up and down. Mm -hmm. My dad's boat hit their boat. Is okay, what so you're saying? Possibly. So your dad's boat is, that is a regular. Is that what they're saying though? Is that that's what I'm asking? Yes, the big okay. four engine Zero, boat four, seven, struck two. this boat. So where is your dad right now? So we make sure he's okay. I don't know. Okay. What's his phone number so I can give him a call? You're not in any trouble. We're just trying to make sure that he's okay. I know, but like, oh, this, oh my God, I can't. Joanna, what do I do? What do I do?
While these officers attempt to get information about the striking boat operator from his own daughter, Madison, officers speaking to other boaters were able to obtain his phone number from them. The officers with Madison are not aware officials already have his number at this point. All right, I'm gonna try and give him a call here, see if he answers. You're not gonna mention my name, are you? <laughs> um, if this goes to court, though, it will get mentioned. So, just letting you know that. I'll be there. <laughs> the criminal complaint also detailed that, as the striking boat operator dropped off his injured passengers, they covered their faces. The driver allegedly exclaimed, I'm so f***ed, I'm so f***ed, at that time. Should I call my dad? No. Let me call my dad. Four fifty-five. Okay. I mean, that's hard to nominate part two, but for that welfare check from the stack. Never. Hey there. His phone's off. Based off the officer calling Madison's father, Jason, she appears to be telling the truth. They each call Jason at nearly the same moment. When the officer calls his phone, it goes straight to voicemail. Jason, this is Officer Wetzel with the Oshkosh Police Department. We're looking to speak with you about the uh, boat strike. Uh, if you give the Oshkosh Police Department non-emergency number a call and ask to speak with an officer, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, well, we're going to need your dad's name. We need to figure out what exactly happened, okay? Give me a second, and I'll give you that. I'm not sure if we found the striking boat yet, but we are out with the daughter right of there. the she's right there. Uh, of she's the guy that's driving the boat. Uh, not being cooperative, giving us information though, right now. Talking to this gentleman, and I'm just. Hey, ma'am, ma'am. Okay, we need to know. I I know you're trying to like protect your dad right now, but we need to know where he's at. Okay. Right, yeah, we don't know. Okay, so I need his name, I need his phone number, so I can give him a what call. What difference is it gonna make if his phone is off? Is what I'm saying. Okay, so you have, so you have his name. Okay. Wait, can you just give me like two seconds, and then I will come back. Over. Well, no, I need, I need to figure this out now. Okay. Okay, right now you're not free to leave. You're not free to leave. No, you can leave. She can stay Why here then. Why am I not free to leave? You're not free to leave. Stand over by this car. Why am I not free because to leave? Because you're not being cooperative. You know who did this. We need to figure this out. So just stand over by the car. I just want to give you a hug. I, honey, hang in there. I love you. Where are you? You don't need to hug her. What's that? You don't need to follow her. Okay. Okay, 445. Does anybody have a roster of people who were on the boat? The captain should have the roster. He's coordinating with the Coast Guard right now. Go by I don't know where he is, and he just said, love you, talk to you later, and hung up on me. I don't know. Okay, so what is what is, what is is his name, what is his phone number, so I can give this to the county, because the county is the one investigating this. Oh, my. I don't know I know. Who's Trey talking to? Yes. The daughter of the other boater. That we don't know where he is. Correct. Where he is. So your dad was in an accident with a very big boat that caused injuries to people so we need to figure out what happened right, I understand that. Right. Hi. so we need to figure out who he is i know you're trying to protect him but we just need his information and then as soon as we get him the information you can get out of here what do you need over here just keep people away approval there's just so many people down there we're trying to just i i no I, i'm not I'm, I'm not no i get it i get it stressful too i just i just want to keep throwing it to different people because i just want She's and the thing is, it shouldn't mind. be wrong. No, that's, no, I was not on the boat. Where's the boat right now? I don't know where the boat is. Okay. How do you know about the crash? Because when they, I work over there. So when you oh, guys pulled up. Right now? Yeah. Okay. When you guys pulled up and said there was a boat accident, I like, I don't know. I just had like a gut feeling. So then I was right. Her dad called her and said they used an accident. And then she also informed me that the dad has a big boat with a four engine, with four engines on it, which is what's. Been I know described. it's just like I understand. It, this just maybe this maybe, really he's not, maybe he's not maybe he's not even involved. Maybe he's not even involved. We can right. just verify that. Oh, that's okay. I'll give you his name because it's you're not gonna let me walk away. So it's Jason Lindemann. Have you seen the boat? Yeah, from what I could see is like the back side, one of the pontoons looked crushed in, oh but like I didn't, it was still floating obviously and everything. Fr I mean, oh my god, I mean, we did it in high school. It's the same boat, and they just turned it into a business seven, eight years ago. I just didn't happen to be on it tonight. You have to take it Yeah. It has a four engine, that's literally all I know. Ma'am, do you mind if I would grab your information just saying that I spoke with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, What's your first name? Madison. She's like, his phone's not on. Like, I don't know where it is. I need a cigarette or something. 
he's not being cooperative because he knows that we're out with her. What's that? I could I could check for you. I think I might have some actually. So I guess are you able to tell if he's okay? Okay. Um, four thirty five, four thirty six. Yeah. Okay. Was it how many passengers were on board? Is like everyone? I don't know. We have, okay. I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. Do we know if his boat is sinking? Because we have resources here to help him. Will not tell us anything. Okay. Hey sir, are you trying to walk down there? No, I was on the boat that got hit. The owner of the boat, is who I know, asked me to chase the boat down the river. So that's what I did, and I was talking. He's like, you. Stay right here. You stay right here. Okay. He let off all the passengers off the boat, and then he took off with all his lights off. Can I have a cigarette, yeah. Could you just check check this spot here? There might be in the one glove box. No smoke. just on FaceTime, so I don't think it's going to be him. Well, you're going to just stay here for a second because I'm not sure if County's done with you, so we just hang tight. If you would like to go get her some cigarettes or anything, you can leave if you'd like to. It's totally up to you. Can you ask the county if it's like, here, like, like done? The boat park on the river walk, or whatever. Uh, There's like 50 people on that boat, so it's probably going to be just a little bit. It's not a pontoon. Do you know the big one with like the wooden... I'm not even sure what Never. it is, but the big one, the cruise one. He hit the wheel boat? Yes. Oh. It's like almost like a houseboat. Oh. Actually, no, 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 no. Don't quote me on that one. I don't think it's the wheel the one, but it's it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one, yes. It's, it's a big one. The big wheel the I don't know if it's the wheel. I don't know if it's the wheel one. The boat the officer is referring to is, in fact, the one with the big wheel, as they put it. Photos from the crash revealed after investigations show the shocking amount of damage Jason caused when he crashed into the On the Lose cruise. Video from the ship also shows the moment of impact from the passenger's perspective. But it's a big, like, almost houseboat. What the f would he hear people up there? No, you're talking about the booze cruise boat. Yes. <laughs> Holy oh, that's, that's the one he hit. The f***ing booze. I thought he was the f***ing one when I was like, how did he not see it? I don't want to, like, be putting your own, like... You no, know, you won't be. Really no, you won't be. I'm just yeah, not sure if I just need to make sure that they don't need anything from you. He's not going to tell us where yeah, he is. Yeah, he's not going to. He knows that we're here. Is he, uh, has he been drinking a little bit? Probably? I don't know. I'm asking him where I can make it. He's not letting me. I'm going to drink his boat when it looks like. You're not, I told you you're not free to leave, though. Yeah, you're, so if you're I being, leave, you're going to put me under you're, arrest. You're being detained right now, yes. I'm detained right now. But detained. What? Is it ringing through, or is it just going to voicemail right away? No, it's going to voicemail. Oh, shut off. Okay. What's your dad's state of birth? I don't know. They should have it. It should be in the... It should be in the... His name sounds familiar, but... He owns half his... Oh. When Madison's co-worker says Jason owns half this town. She is likely referring to the business Jason owns, Sweetwater Performance Center, a full-service marine center that works in boat sales and maintenance services. On their website, they list that they cater to all sorts of boating clients, including those, quote, who are serious about high performance and the need for speed. He also happens to own the restaurant on the same property that Madison works at, the Dockside Tavern. And just to confirm with you, that's that's your father, right? Yeah. Okay. Disturbance. Yeah, I will it's going to be at 1629 Arizona Street. If you, if you try to walk away right now, I will have to detain you, which means you have to wear handcuffs, okay? I don't want that to happen. Oh, my God. I can't do it. Could you do me one more favor? Could you at least check this? Uh, is this our squad here? Ours is one farther back, Could you yeah. just check these two squads quick to see if there's any cigarettes in here? Although this officer attempts to fulfill Madison's request for cigarettes, they have none in their possession. Madison, what's Jason's real number? That is his real I number. I just called that number, and that's not Jason. What time did he call you? He never called me. I called him. Well, he had to tell you that he was in an accident. Yeah, because I called him. Madison, I'm Al. Sure, I'll tell this kind of quick. Oh. Okay. All right. Our primary concern is everybody who was on that boat. Because okay. we want to make sure that they're okay. I don't know who was on that boat. How many people sit on the boat? Probably like 30. I'd say like 30. Okay. So before the boat crash, was he at the restaurant? Yeah. Do you know where he was? Is that the type of catch you in? I don't know. 
That would be a question for him. <laughs> when you guys pulled up there, people were like, oh, there was a boat accident. And then and I say, just, yeah. I felt like it was my dad because I just had a gut feeling. And then I came over here because I thought that was his boat that got hit. Does he have any, any other properties on the lake? Yeah, he owns all um, He owns a snap. Would he happen to have a Snapchat? No. No, and he doesn't have his location on Snapchat. <laughs> It's not funny, I'm sorry for laughing. It's not funny, but it kind of is. What the actual It kind of is because. You literally said, my dad like, no, it's not your dad. I knew it was my dad. Oh, dude. Wait, 7-2. 7 2. All right, just wanted to make sure. Uh, that's going to be up to them for right now, okay? I'm just trying to think of anything else. I'm like. So his phone's ringing right now. Is it? Yes. Well, my text is not through. Okay. Yeah, his phone went. His phone is ringing. Well, oh, now it is. But apparently, yeah. Dad's phone's back on, but he's still having. Hey, you guys can call him. <laughs> Get him a call. Got his number? I mean, he's not gonna answer me for sure. Does not he gonna still answer live off? Does he still live off of? No, he does not live over there anymore. Where's your I don't. I don't know his new address because I don't really go to his house. So you have no idea where your dad lives. I don't go to his house, no. He was living on but he's getting the floor, so he's not living there. Do you have a friend's so. name or number that I can call his that would know where he lives? Like yeah, I don't have, like, I don't have any I of their number one. numbers, just let's, on Facebook. Let's go with Brian. So would Brian know where your dad lives? Probably, yeah. Okay. I know you are waiting to leave, just hang tight for now, okay? I want a blanket. I want a cigarette, bro. None of these cars have cigarettes in them. Cold, in the backseat of the car. No, I'm okay. so right. good on I that. I don't need to throw it out. I had to throw it out there. See if he has a cigarette or something. So it doesn't sound like you and your dad are close? He's been going through this divorce, and then, like, I got my own stuff going on, right. and then I'm working here every day. It's like, I don't really ever come out here to, like, see my dad because I see him here. Sure. So I never really find the reason to go to his house. Okay. I'm very surprised he hit about my whole life. He boated, like, since I was really little. He's a very yeah. good boat. I don't yeah. know what the fuck happened. You guys don't have a cigarette, do you? She's been yeah, asking for a she's, cigarette. Yeah, she she's been she's cigarette. been praying for one over yeah, here. I sound like a crackhead being in porn, but like. Oh no, that would be a crack. Do you have a cigarette? Four cents you. Anyone have a smoke? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I need a smoke here. Thirty-three. Yeah. God, thank the Lord. Could you grab my apron? Oh. Is there cigarettes? Okay. She's bringing cigarettes. Well, no, but my tips are. I gotta like close out. Oh my Jesus Christ. Just county. County. Yeah. We're just waiting for county to let us know that we can release you. I, have in that car. I told you you can sit in the back of the car. I, I told you. As Madison expresses her fear of missing out, she may not fully realize there are a total of 50 victims listed in her father's soon-to-be-established criminal case. All right, you guys can head out. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thanks for the help, guys. Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, I really, I appreciate you guys too. Like, thank you for your service. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Now I'm going to. She's not used to boys calling. We're going to let her know. Good one. Oh. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. That was pretty funny. Have a good night, you guys. In the criminal complaint that was compiled, some details of Jason's actions that night were revealed. Apparently, Jason kept two passengers on his boat when he fled into Lake Winnebago, known as Victim 25 and 26. The civilian boats that were pursuing Jason had apparently lost sight of him, or may have deemed the situation too dangerous to pursue, considering he turned his lights off, likely while speeding away. One of the victims admitted to being heavily intoxicated that night, but that there was a belief they spent the night on the lake. In the morning when they woke up, the boat was docked at Pioneer Marina, with Jason and nowhere to be found. Jason's boat did not have a registered spot at that marina, causing the owners to look into it and call the police once they identified it was Jason's boat. Police wouldn't discover the boat until noontime the following day after the crash. Between all occupants aboard both vessels, 
Jason's case involved 50 total victims. News reports indicate that Jason didn't turn himself in until two to three days after the incident. Shortly after his arrest, he was released on a $10,000 cash bond. Ultimately, Jason was tried for two counts of felony recklessly endangering safety, 12 counts of misdemeanor causing a boating accident and failing to render aid, and one count of misdemeanor negligent operation of a boat. Jason pled not guilty to all counts, triggering a jury trial. During the jury trial, Jason's defense team argued that the on-the-loose crews had a certain set of docking lights on while they were on the cruise. They showed this image, arguing that the boat was difficult to see for that reason. Had you ever, during that inspection or ever in the past, sent to dock those LED lights and notified that that was a violation to have those on? No. By anybody? No. Okay. Additionally, a witness added that, allegedly, extra people snuck onto the lose crews, putting them over capacity. The defense likely tried to argue this as a reason why so many people may have been hurt, although there seems to be no known evidence to support this claim. The defense also noted that Jason had returned to the lose crews after the crash, but that passengers were allegedly swearing at him and started throwing things at his boat. They argued that this was what caused him to take off. The prosecutors attempted to investigate if Jason was intoxicated or not during the crash. They brought his daughter to the stand. And do you remember your dad coming into the accident? Um, yeah, I remember him coming in. Those little bits that I was with him, he didn't appear intoxicated at all. Records indicate that officials from both Winnebago County and the state of Wisconsin each attempted to charge Jason with operating a boat while intoxicated that night. One of the charges was filed well over a year after the incident. Ultimately, the judge moved for a dismissal of the charges in both instances. This was despite one witness on Jason's boat sharing that Jason was drinking beer while driving. Footage of Jason drinking at his restaurant was also seen, but the defense was successful in arguing no evidence was available to show what was actually in his drink, claiming that it could have been water. Speculative reviews from both the Dockside Tavern and Sweetwater Performance Center seemed to believe Jason was intoxicated that night. His own daughter on scene seemed to attribute the crash to an intoxicated individual based on her comments, though she doesn't admit to her dad to being the intoxicated person. The jury found him guilty on every count, with the exception of one count of causing an accident and failing to render aid. The prosecution recommended he serve nine months in jail and spend up to six years on probation, where he would be banned from drinking alcohol. He would also have to take a boating safety class. They cited that the damage caused by Jason put the on the loose crews out of operating business for two years due to the damage taken on their ship. Before his sentencing, multiple people involved spoke about the situation. I don't think it's fair to say that he's had no consequences over the last two plus years because he certainly has. There's been efforts to cancel his businesses online, to boycott him. As the court's well aware, Jason faces multiple civil lawsuits now. Two restraining orders have been granted for threats that were made against Jason, threats that were made against Jason's family. And Matt on my boat said somebody's throwing bottles at us and they were yelling. I had just been in a shocking accident. Uh, admittedly, my thoughts turned to self-preservation. My pending divorce and the impact this would have on it. I want to express my deepest remorse to Mr. Los, his crew, and all on both vessels. I take full responsibility for my actions and consequences that have followed. There's no excuse for what has happened, and I'm not here to seek pity or minimize my conduct. Instead, I am here to offer my sincere apologies and to ask for the court's understanding and mercy. My name is Jeff Mills, owner and operator of one of those cruises. Operating on those cruises was my retirement plan. No matter what, he's, he's not going to suffer. He still has all his businesses and all his income. I have no boat, no business, no income. Families could have been destroyed because of your stupid move to drink and drive a huge boat. Unfortunately, some boaters do drink and drive. I'm not sure if that happened here. It certainly seems highly likely that it occurred. Is there anyone who was drinking something? I'm not sure how much, whether he was drunk. I'm not sure because he fled the scene. The maximum penalty for this offense is 28 years and nine months of incarceration with a total fine of $160,000. The judge ultimately sentenced Jason to three years of probation, which includes a five-month prison sentence to start. He was approved for a home jail sentence via electronic or GPS monitoring. 
he must also attend 50 hours of community service for each year of probation, a total of 150 hours. He is also banned from operating a motorboat during his probation and was ordered to pay over $7,000 in fines. He lost his rights to own a firearm and also his right to vote until after his sentencing. His restitution for those who are injured is yet to be determined, though current proposals call for roughly $600,000 in payouts. The restitution hearing is set to be held on January 22, 2025. He is also being civilly sued in a personal injury lawsuit by the company and the owner of On The Lose Cruises amounting to more potential payouts Jason will have to fulfill. As we are posting this video, On The Lose Cruises appears to have a GoFundMe donation link that is still active. If you would like to donate to the victim's business in this case, you can find that link in the description below. You got arrested before? Um, not arrested. I just got handcuffed and put in with a dog. With a dog? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. So she was telling me she, was telling me she got put in the back of a squad car with a canine. Yes, in a cubicle thing. Yeah, oh, it's the divider. Right. What's in that vape? You're talking crazy talk. I, <laughs> I it promise like it's nicotine. Cube. That's just her. I Yo, I that's swear. how she really is? <laughs> yes. What was the dog's name? <laughs> what was the dog's name? Oh, you would know that. Oh, I got bit by a dog once. So I know that dog's name. It was a cop dog. I, I got bit by a cop dog before. I was in a tin box, and then he was in, uh, there was a wall here, and the dog was on this side going crazy. What time did you wake up from this drink? It wasn't a <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You are a <laughs> I'm going to use that one.